Hi guys, I hope that you're all doing really well. As you can hear from my voice, I am actually sick again. I know you guys are going to say in the comments that it's not good to be sick so much and this and that, and I totally, I know that, but usually I am the sort of person that never gets sick. Like, really guys, I think I had a cold maybe six times in like five years, so I'm not usually somebody to get sick, um, but obviously if a lot of you guys saw my update kind of video i'm doing much better now like i am doing so much better so i really want to thank you guys so much and apologize if i didn't get back to sending you a message or an email or a comment i saw all of them you guys and i want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart i actually looked at so many of your guys suggestions of what i should do um, and how to approach it and uh, you know maybe i have certain things that um, I need to discover about myself like I I was really really thankful to you guys So I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart So anyways <laughs> coming back to what I was gonna say I'm usually not somebody that gets sick But I have been sick three times this year already and we're in freaking February I have been sick when I got back from Australia when I got back from Saudi Arabia and I'm sick again now so I'm sorry if my voice sounds nasally and terrible and it's just a nightmare especially when my job is supposed to be reviewing fragrances let's get on to today's video i am doing something that i have not done for years you guys like years and i have no idea what your thoughts are going to be about this video like i really don't know how it's going to be perceived by you guys but i'm sounding like it's something crazy i'm just going to be talking about my february favorites like in general favorites from lifestyle to makeup to skincare to perfume to everything so these are all products that have improved my life in a significant way and i wanted to share them with you guys and let me know if you would like me to continue to do this so if you guys liked this video please 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 tell me because i would love to do it maybe not monthly but maybe like every second month because i'm not sure and i don't want to lie to you guys if every single month i don't have new favorites to show you but I would love to maybe look at the idea of doing it more often if you guys like it. So I'm going to start out with something that's in my hand right now. I am obsessed with this tumbler that I got on Amazon. I know that so many people use the Stanley ones. I don't know. I just liked the design of this one better. So I went for this one. And also it's a lot bigger, I think, than the Stanley uh, tumblers. This one is called Simple Modern. I'm going to try you guys to link everything down below for you. I am really bad at linking products for you guys. Something that you need to know about me guys is that I am addicted to Amazon like everyone else, like everyone else. I love Amazon. I don't order from them every day, obviously not saying that right now. We're in the process, like I said to you guys in a, in a previous video, we're moving. Actually, we're moving in two days. And I have bought so much stuff on Amazon. It is embarrassing, but things that are hopefully going to make my life better and more organized. So for me, it's like an investment for my mental health, actually, like just mostly like organization things and stuff like that. Nothing crazy or whatever. But anyways, the Tumblr, I am obsessed with it. I bought two. I bought one for me and one for Pierre. I buy Pierre everything on Amazon. I don't even think that he knows, but I, yeah, I love the Tumblr. Pierre loves the Tumblr. We use it every single day of our lives. Like, I'm not joking to you guys. I've had it for about three months now. So it's actually been a long time since I've had them. It changed my life significantly. I am really bad at drinking water. I hate to drink water, actually. And for me as well, I'm really fussy with like the temperature of my water. Like if the water is too cold, I cannot drink it. If it's, if it's warm, nobody likes warm water. I don't know, there is something about this tumbler that just makes drinking water so enjoyable. And also it is 1.5 liters. So if you drink two of these, which is what I do every single day, um, you're getting in three liters of water. I know that technically you need to calculate how much water you should be drinking based on your body weight or something like that. I don't care for me drinking two of these. I feel super hydrated and it's perfect. So I'm obsessed with it. And now going hand in hand with my Simple Modern Tumblr, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I cannot drink plain water. I know that it's like really like sad. I hate drinking plain water. I think the only time I feel like, yes, okay, I'm craving just like plain water is when I'm like super thirsty after like doing a run or a workout or something like that. I drink 
electrolytes like I take water with electrolytes and my favorite ones uh, it's actually a funny story this brand it's called uh, who mantra I think it's called yeah I think it's called who mantra this brand is actually um, they have investors and the investors are Huda Beauty so I think that that's really funny like this is a really popular brand in UAE and I love the taste of not this one I love the uh, elderberry taste it's like this beautiful like deep kind of berry flavor and I just love it so much so electrolytes changed my life I don't know if you guys can get these ones internationally maybe you can if you're in the US or Europe or etc but I love this brand who mantra really clean you have all six electrolytes zero sugar immunity support there is like very low calories if that matters to you guys if you're like tracking tracking your calories and stuff really low calories it's just like amazing I love this brand I love the electrolytes I I'm obsessed with them so yeah anyways and they're actually a little bit on the expensive side like uh, take that back they're actually very expensive in my opinion for electrolytes but I don't care because they have changed my life for the better so I will continue to keep on buying them but I'm not a fan of like their other two flavors I just like the elderberry flavor like this dark berry flavor I love it it tastes like um when you're younger and you're drinking like a little bit of like cordial it's so good anyways this the electrolytes my dream i think i'm going to start with skincare if you're somebody that doesn't give a crap about skincare or like a makeup product and stuff you can just skip forward to the perfume stuff but skincare i wanted to talk about a new cleanser that i've tried out that i'm absolutely obsessed with again i got this on amazon this is uh from the brand actually which brand is it well, I guess it's from a brand called B Lab, but I thought this was actually the brand of an influencer. It could be, I'm going to check for you guys, but I used to follow this Korean uh, skincare blogger when I was much younger called Leah Su, I think her name is. And I thought that this was her brand. I do think it is actually. Maybe I just didn't know the name of her brand, but it says B Lab Matcha Hydrating Foam Cleanser. You can see how it looks here. I love the packaging it's like super simple and sleek and for me like this this sort of packaging is like perfect to travel with i hate when a skincare product has like a pump that you cannot lock to travel with it is like the pain of my existence because it goes all over my suitcase so um, I love this cleanser. It's really hydrating. It doesn't strip your skin or leave it feeling like uh, dry and like irritated it's just really nice you can use it twice a day it's not going to strip your skin it's ph balance i love the ingredients i love the brand i love the product everything so really happy with this cleanser for me i'm not too fussy when it comes to cleansers if i'm going to be honest like i used the same cleanser for like six years like i don't i'm not really experimental with my cleansers but i was a little bit scared to try it uh just in case like something broke me out or my skin didn't like matcha or whatever i don't know but actually it's turned out to be incredible for my skin really hydrating less stripping than the other cleanser that i was using in the past and i just really like it so totally recommend it to you guys i think i will definitely finish and repurchase this one once i'm done Another product that I have spoken about on my channel before actually is this moisturizer from a kind of like unknown brand. It's obviously Korean, obviously. It is called Bar, and this is the Centella uh, Calming Barrier Cream. I just got a new tub of this actually. And the reason that I'm including it again is because, well, I'm gonna tell you guys something. I feel like this video will be so long. I went through a really bad period with my skin last year and I, I had hormonal acne for the first time in my life. I don't know what has cleared up my hormonal acne because I'm doing 50 different things and I started to drink more water, take different supplements. I started to cut out certain things in my diet. I started to only like I tried everything and some of those habits i'm still doing now like the supplements i'm doing i'm using red light therapy i'm doing a lot of things so i cannot tell you guys what necessarily cleaned up clean clean cleared up my acne but i will tell you something is that i was trying a lot of different products to help me to fix something and it's the worst thing that you can do because hormonal acne is hormonal it's not uh topical like you can't just put a product on and it disappears so I kind of ruined my skin last year 
and I noticed that I should have just stuck with what worked in my life. Like I should have just stayed with the products that worked for my skin. And that is where this bad boy comes in. I love this moisturizer. My skin loves this moisturizer. I don't know why I tried to change. So I love this product. It's got Centella Asiatica, uh, leaf water extract, panthenol, 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 squalene and jojoba seed oil. So it's very simple ingredients, but I just, I love the way it feels on my skin. I really recommend it to you guys if you have like, I don't know, even oily, acne prone, sensitive, you can use this product. I would say this moisturizer would work for most skin types. So I think it's pretty safe for everyone. I of course like tell you guys and advise you guys to look at the ingredients yourself and what your skin needs. But for me, I think that the ingredients are really simple. I think it's a beautiful moisturizer that would work for everyone. And I just love it. Like it's, it's a really great one. And I love the packaging as well of this. This video guys, it's really hard for me actually, because I am passionate about so many skincare products that I could talk about it for hours, but I just wanted to do the ones that kind of have really made an impact and this is definitely one of them. This is from a really popular brand right now, really trendy, especially on TikTok, called Anua. And this is the Heartleaf 77 Clear Pad. So they're like little toner pads. I've used toner pads for like most of my like adult life, like from when I was like 16, actually I'm not an adult then. From when I was like 15 to like now, I've always used toner pads. I just love them. Um, and these ones are super gentle. So I used to use ones that were AHA and BHA. So they're a little bit too exfoliating for every single day. Of course, you can still do that. It depends on your skin's needs and etc. But I like that these ones are so gentle and I feel like they really kind of soothe, hydrate the skin, gently exfoliate the, you know, the top layer of the skin. And it just feels really good. So totally recommend if you're looking for a very neutral toner pad that's not going to exfoliate too much, that is not really aggressive in any way, definitely you need to try these toner pads. They're very nice and very calming. They're not life changing, like by any means. Like I don't think that they like did something dramatic to my skin, but I just really have been enjoying them. This is my second tub actually. You're probably thinking like you're at the top. I, this is my second tub. I'm also trying out some other ones that are a little bit more intense and I will let you guys know about that maybe in the next favorites video. So I think I'm gonna go to a hair mask that I am totally obsessed with. I feel like everyone in this world right now on social media is obsessed with like Japanese, Korean, Asian, beauty, da da da. And it's like so funny to me. It's also really funny to me because I'm not trying to sound like petty, but I've been doing it guys, like using Korean skincare for years and like, I don't know, like I was always really into it and now it's just like funny to see that it's such like a trend, but I'm sure that's how like a lot of people feel. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But I will say I have never thought about it for hair care. I recently got this mask. I actually think it's Japanese, I think, but it is spec freaking tacular, this hair mask, you guys incredible like i don't think my hair was ever so soft until i used this mask my hair is dirty today that's why it's up but guys whenever i wash my hair now i am using this mask it is so good like honestly i'm telling all of you guys to just buy it like don't even think about it and don't even hesitate just buy it like i think it's really cheap as well in dirhams it was like 72 dirhams but i don't know how much that is exactly like around 30 something dollars. Like it's not, it was not expensive at all. And it's just perfection. Like now, every time I, I wash my hair, I will shampoo condition, just a little bit of conditioner. And then I will put on my hair mask, leave it for 10 minutes and then rinse it out. Your hair is never going to feel as soft in your life until you use this hair mask. Like I know that that sounds really sponsored or whatever, but it's not like, it's just, it's a really kind of like jelly, kind of formula, oh, nearly fell out, jelly formula. And uh, it's just incredible, you guys. Like I told so many people in my life, like just buy it, like just see, you will buy it, you will not regret it at all. It's absolutely amazing. Because actually I have been told by my hairdresser that my hair is really dry these days. Um, and I'm thinking it's because I have bleached my hair twice a year for the last two to three years now. And I, now I'm on like a hair care journey. I don't give a shit about being blonde or whatever. Like I don't, 
I don't want to dye my hair anymore. I just want it to come back to its natural state and I want it to be really, really healthy because I also lost a lot of hair around this area. You cannot see right now. And also it started to grow back because I'm taking a certain supplement for hair and whatever. Um, but yeah, my hair has become dry. I, I started to get the baldness, which is actually linked to an issue that I have called PCOS. And anyways, anyways, long story, now I am on like a healing hair journey. I don't care about bleaching my hair. I don't want to, I don't want to damage my hair. If it means to have light hair, I don't actually care. So yeah, anyways, that's my journey. I want to get my hair back to being super healthy um, and just feeling like hydrated and good again. Uh, so right now it's actually, it's pretty dry actually these days, but I'm going to, I'm working on it. I'm working on it now, but this mask is definitely going to become like an absolute staple in my routine. I've used it about six times and I'm not joking you guys, it blew my mind when I used it. Talking about hair, I also have the Lush Super Milk. I really didn't need to get the big bottle. I need to remind myself in life that I don't need the bigger bottle. Um, it's like a weird thing for me, but... Yeah, I didn't need the big one. I could have taken the small one, but the Lush Super Milk, you guys, for me personally, it smells like Bianco Latte in a hair conditioner. Now, technically, this is a conditioning hair primer, but for me, I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I just use it for the smell. I use it as like a hair perfume. Um but it obviously has like conditioning benefits. Like I don't really feel like it does much for my hair in terms of like health, but the smell, <gasps> the smell you guys, no joke. It's like this incredible vanilla, just warm toasted milky coconut. It's just, it's like for me, it does really remind me of like Bianco Latte in like a hair conditioner. So. If that's your type of scent, you need to get this. Um, and literally, you guys, what shocked me, what shocked me about this, I don't even know what they did, is that it's so long lasting. Like you put a few sprays in your hair, you don't need to wear perfume that day. Guys, it is crazy. Like if you need a sign, this is really like an insane product in terms of scent. I don't, like, like I said, like for me, the conditioning properties are very minimal, but the product, the smell is fantastic. So I definitely recommend it for that. This is the very famous Dr. Dennis Gross LED mask. I have three LED masks. Do I need three? No, but this one is by far the best. I'm sorry guys, cause it's really expensive. I bought it in Australia actually, because I couldn't find it in Dubai. I bought it in Australia. It is the best LED mask for me personally. I tried uh, one that I got here in Bloomingdale's in Dubai called Boost. I tried one that I got on Amazon, like a shitty cheap one, terrible. It broke in like one second. And I tried this one. This is by far the superior LED mask and I am obsessed with it. Like I use it guys religiously every single day. It's really hard for somebody like me to have a habit every day. This is my habit every day. I use myself, I use, um, let me see. So you have the red light, you have blue light. I think red light, it's for like collagen, blah, blah, blah. Blue light, it's for bacteria, so like acne. That's what I think. And, uh, and then there is the combination of both. I don't know if you can see. Anyway, I use the combination of the two. So I do it twice. So the mask, it lasts not that long, actually. It feels like it's about one minute. Um, I can check for you guys, but it's about like one minute or three minutes, maybe maximum. And I do it twice every single night and I am obsessed. Like I really feel like it's helped my skin a lot, really guys. And I just really couldn't recommend it enough. I know it's expensive. Maybe ask for your birthday or for Christmas or save up and get it. If you're looking to really improve the overall texture, pigmentation, uh, fine lines and wrinkles of your skin, I really recommend it. And I also noticed, and I don't know what this is, if it's water, because I have not, like I only just in the last two months started to drink a lot of water. If it's the mask, if it's, I don't know what it is, but I have not had Botox for three months. 
in the past, if I had gone three months without Botox, because usually I was getting it in my forehead every three months, um, just in my forehead, actually, I wasn't getting it anywhere else. I don't do filler, I don't do anything else, but I loved the feeling of how Botox made my forehead look. I've not had it for now since November, and I feel like my wrinkles are way less, way less. Like, guys, I cannot even tell you, I noticed last year, if I went three months without getting the Botox, I would be like, oh my God, my wrinkles, they're so bad. Like, I really want to get them done again, blah, blah, blah. Now, I feel like, I don't know if you guys can see, obviously I have makeup on and stuff, but I feel like whenever I lift and frown and stuff, I feel like my forehead is more smooth and it's been since November. So actually I'm going to wait maybe a few months before I maybe will go get, go get Botox again. And I have a feeling it's from this. So... I don't know, do with that information what you will, but I love this mask. It was expensive, but totally, totally worth it. I'm gonna recommend something that is a little bit controversial, but I just wanna tell you um, because I had some comments actually. I had some comments on my channel a few times about how white my eyes are. And unfortunately that's not real. I um, have used the Lumify Drops. Um, I do want to recommend them to you guys because they work so well. Like I actually thought it was a myth, this product. Like when I would hear people talk about it, I would be like, that's just, yeah, whatever. Actually it works incredibly, incredibly well. But I want to preface it by saying, please don't buy this product and use it every single day. I think it's really not safe. Um, myself, I use this, this product very, very sparingly. So I will use it every now and again if I am going for like a special event. Sometimes I'll use it, like I said, when I film. Um, but I never use it like days in a row because I just don't think it's that good. Like just the idea, and I have no idea about the science behind it, so please don't come for me for recommending them. Um, I would assume that something that like whitens your eyes is like really not good, but I'm telling you guys that it actually really has, I, I've never seen something like that before. It's really crazy how it works, but like I said, I'm not recommending it. Please don't use it every single day, but I wanted to tell you guys whenever you, I didn't use them today, for instance, like I'm not wearing anything today. Like it's just my natural eyes, but whenever, let's say you have a special event or you have your wedding or something, if you want your eyes to be like really, really bright and white, the Lumify drops are really good. Please don't come for me for recommending them. I'm not saying to like, yeah, just they're, use them really, really sparingly and it's amazing. Another thing that I am absolutely obsessed with, I got recently, is this uh, dental wash. So after I brush my teeth in the morning, I use this. It's the Thera Breath Dentist Formulated Whitening Fresh Breath Oral Rinse. That's a big, uh, it's a big title, but basically it's a mouthwash that also whitens your teeth at the same time, and it is absolutely amazing. I'm not going to say much about it. Again, some of these products, like I don't know the science behind it, so I'm not gonna try to um, say things that I'm not educated to speak on, but amazing guys, like really, I, I actually feel like it has whitened my teeth. I just had a coffee, so my teeth are kind of not white right now, but I noticed that this really, really has an incredible impact on your teeth. So if you wanted to have a product that like whitens your teeth, but also keeps your breath smelling really, really fresh, definitely try this. It does have a little bit of like a, not a nice taste, like it doesn't really taste like other mouthwashes in my opinion, but I don't care, like the, the results are fantastic. So again, this is another product, I will link it down below, I bought it on Amazon and I absolutely love it. Another thing that I love, and this is a part of like my nighttime ritual, is this Dr. Teal's Sleep Spray. It's a melatonin sleep blend with lavender and chamomile. Guys, I spray, I don't know if you can see, I've used a lot of this. I spray it on my feet actually. So before I go to sleep at night, I spray this spray all over my feet in combination with having a chamomile tea and some magnesium. And guys, I have the best sleep ever, like ever. Recently, I've not been having good sleeps actually. Like uh, recently I've been woken up by my dogs and I've not had a good sleep, but whenever I'm doing my whole entire nighttime routine, Oh my gosh, I have the best sleep ever, you guys. So really, you need to you need to try this. It's so good. Spray it on your feet, 
rub it in a little bit, leave it to dry and then go to sleep and it just, it, it works. There's something about it. Maybe it's a placebo effect, but really I feel like it works for me personally and I love it. Another thing that I am loving you guys is dry brushing. I've been dry brushing now for about, you can see my thing is like kind of old and stuff. I've been doing it now for about four months, I would say, maybe even a bit longer. And I love it. Like I really feel like, I, first of all, I like the idea of doing something like this first thing in the morning to kind of set your body for the day. I am not, you know, like the health and wellness or whatever, but this I really feel like is a great morning habit to have. If you guys don't know about dry brushing, it's really good for your lymphatic system. Uh, another thing that you could do is bounce on like a little trampoline, like there's special trampolines for that. For me, I prefer to dry brush. You just brush your body like a little bit like a horse. I know it sounds weird, but that's exactly what I do. I do it everywhere. I don't know why as well. I kind of like the feeling of like a little bit of pain, but <laughs> I do it all over my body. It takes me about three minutes maybe. And then I just feel really good. And I feel like it's made my skin softer more tight and i'm not going to say about cellulite and stuff because cellulite is just that's the, that's a part of life especially as a woman and i don't care about it actually so nothing to do with cellulite but i do feel like it's helped my body to feel tighter my skin softer and i just love to achieve a small habit like this in the morning every single day i feel like it's really it really sets me up to have a good day so i love doing the the dry brushing it's really had a great impact for me just quickly gonna talk about makeup products because you guys always ask me about makeup. I know I could probably mention a lot of products because there's a lot of products that I love, but I'm just gonna talk about one staple that has really changed my life and that is the Rare Beauty uh, Liquid Blush in the shade Hope. I love this product. It is so beautiful. It is so worth the hype. I remember when it like started to go viral and stuff, I was just like getting so much FOMO about not having it. And when it launched in Dubai, it was sold out for so many weeks because I feel like it's the US that gets everything first. You guys get everything first, all of the cool products, and then the world follows. So in Dubai, we, we didn't have Rare Beauty for such a long time and then we did and it went out of stock. And I finally got it towards like the middle of last year, I would say, maybe a bit later. And I fell in love with this product. It's so good, so blendable, so pigmented. I always get a compliment on my blush. I uh, Sometimes I will go over the top with a powder, but if I'm doing like a no makeup day, just the Rare Beauty blush, and I feel so like, I don't know, just perfect and plump and fresh, and it's just so gorgeous. I love it, really recommend it. In the shade, Hope is my favorite. And then, I always get asked, you guys always ask me about my lip combination. I kind of change between like a few different things, but at the moment you can see, I always use the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner in Pillow Talk, I think it is, this one. I think it's Pillow Talk, this one. And then over the top, I, uh, I love this lipstick that I got from Chanel. It's the Rouge Coco Flash in Boy. Please keep in mind though, the tone of this lipstick is quite gray. Like it has a cool tone, um, kind of fleshy nude color to it. Like it's a little bit gray if I'm gonna be honest. So if those sort of tones don't suit your skin type, really be careful. Cause honestly, when I first got it, I was like, what the heck is this? And then I started to wear it and you guys all started to compliment my lip color. So I think it's in combination with a nice lip liner it does look good, but I will show you guys, like it's a very like old school kind of like, I don't know if you guys can really see, but it's a bit of an old school color. Like it's something that I feel like my mum would have worn, but I love it nonetheless. Like I really like the formula. I like something more mm, like moisturizing and stuff. And I do like the color. Um, so it's the number 54 in boy. So if you guys wanted to know, that's usually what I'm wearing on my lips these days or I will just put on a lip liner and put on like a little um, Laneige lip sleeping mask over the top. Like I really don't do much with my lips. I, I really don't do that much. Okay guys, <clears throat> I don't even know where to go. Like I'm holding like the products that I wanna show you guys. 
Um, a collagen creamer is my new obsession. I've also started, again, maybe that's why I have no, like, not much forehead wrinkles right now. I've also started to incorporate collagen into my diet. Um, and I am using a powdered form. I don't have bone broth uh, because I cannot find any in Dubai. I was thinking of making my own, but for now I'm using a collagen creamer, which I love. You can see I've nearly... Ah! I've nearly run out of this one actually because I put it in my coffee every day. I just have like a little black coffee and I put some of the collagen creamer and I love it. I love the taste. I love this one specifically. This is actually a uh, UAE based company, I'm pretty sure. Let me see. Yeah, this is a UAE based company, but I will try to find you guys because I don't know if they ship international. I will try to find you guys a product that has like more or less the same ingredients and stuff. But I love this one, like you can see the packaging is super cute and like pretty feminine and it's just like a really nice taste. It gives your coffee a little bit of a creamy flavor, really nice, love it, nothing more to say about that. Then I have this, this is my new obsession is Palo Santo. I love the smell you guys. It took me a little bit of time to like warm up to the smell of Palo Santo, like I kind of thought it was weird at first, I was like how do people even like this smell? I feel so basic right now, like I really feel basic, but I'm sorry guys, like I, I am a bit basic at times, like really, and oh my god, Palo Santo, it just, I love it, like it really makes me feel like so peaceful and like just, it feels so good to, to smell it, to burn it, I just love it, so I love Palo Santo, I bought the sticks on Amazon, I will link them down, and I also bought this cute little um, Palo Santo holder. So you put the Palo Santo, it looks more cool when the Palo Santo is longer, but mine is like really small right now. And then you can kind of just tap the ash in there if you want, and then you need to clean it. I didn't clean mine today. But yeah, I love the, the little holder, very chic, very like, you know, contemporary vibe with the Palo Santo. Absolutely love it. I think that this is like the most underrated candle from Diptyque. Everybody loves Ombre, uh, Opopinax, uh, what else? Uh, Bay, Bay? Um, what else? Uh, what's the other really popular one? Feu de Bois. I love Feu de Bois so much, but it's, it's basic. Feu de Bois is basic. But this one right here, this is my second one. I'm saving it for my new house. I'm so excited you guys to move. I cannot wait. This one is Nargule. I bought this one for myself for Christmas to move into our new place. I am obsessed with the smell of Nargule. It's like a honey tobacco scent, like a really warm, like just addictive vanilla honey fragrance. And I am absolutely obsessed with it in a candle form. It makes the atmosphere so warm and cozy and just, no pastis, no, no. Really, it's the most underrated candle from Diptyque. People never really talk about Nargule, it's always about Ombre and everything else. So try this one if you want like a really nice, like warm, ambery, like tobacco, vanilla, honey sort of scent, you must try Nargule. It is freaking fantastic, especially for the fall and winter. But me, I like this sort of smell in my place all year round. Like I love this type of scent. Quickly gonna talk about, I read this book in January, I think. It's The Housemaid by Frida McFadden. Amazing book, you guys. I really would love to read more books this year. I read maybe last year about, maybe about 15 books, maybe less actually, maybe about 10. I would love to be more consistent with reading. Whenever I read before bed, I always have such a good sleep. It's something that I love the habit so much, but it's really hard to be consistent with it. So like instead of going on your phone before bed, I love to read before bed because it puts me in more of like a, a relaxed atmosphere. Um, and this book was so good, you guys. Like if you like something like a little bit of a thriller, a little bit of mystery, psychological thriller vibes, you need to check this one out. It was so good. I absolutely loved the book. I don't know how to describe books without giving away stuff, but it is about like a... Uh, a girl who becomes a maid for a couple and da -da 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 -da. like I, I don't even know how to explain it but just read it like it was a fantastic book I have another book that like 
not was similar but like is really up there as well in terms of like a thriller and that's Verity from Colleen Hoover. That is probably my favorite book ever. Really, I loved Verity and this was equally like, it was really, really good. So definitely recommend that you read it guys. I actually bought another book from her, Frida McFadden. I bought Never Lie and I'm so excited to start reading it when I move into my new place. Love the book, definitely recommend reading it. Okay, now we're gonna go to perfume finally. I've, oh my God, this video is like 40 minutes. Something that I'm loving right now is a body oil. This is the Safari Body Musk from Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. This is a UAE based company. I don't know if they ship directly from their website. I will have to check for you guys, but this is such a sexy musk. Like, Oh my gosh, it is so... I'm going to put a little bit on my wrist right now. Oh my gosh. Like, I want to bathe in this scent. Like, if my natural body odor smelled like this, I would be so happy, you guys. Like, oh my gosh, it is such a good musk. It's clean, a little bit sweet, not floral at all. It has this really, like... It also has a little bit of a masculine vibe going on, like a little bit of a sexy masculine vibe. It could be something like um, one of the musk fragrances from the body shop, but in an oil form and it just smells so, oh my gosh, I love it, you guys. Like I absolutely love it. And the way that I like to use an oil is straight out of the shower. I like to put some on my body here, on my pulse points, etc. And I don't give a crap about what fragrance I put over the top because musk, it usually goes with everything. So you can really layer this one with anything. Um, and also what I like to do is take a little pipette, like a little thing, and I'll put it into my moisturizer and rub it all over my body like that. So I have a few ways that I use this and also for layering, of course, like sometimes I'll just put a little bit here and here and then spray on my perfume as well. I just love it. There is a lot of um, oils out there. So I recommend just getting any like kind of standard musk uh, oil for what I'm talking about. And it's just going to work so beautifully. And especially if you have a trip coming to the Middle East, make sure you get some oils. Don't necessarily get perfumes and whatever, of course, if you want to do it, but I would more come here and look at some oils because the oils here are really fantastic, like really fantastic. And they're oils that you can't necessarily find in Europe and the US. So um, yeah, definitely try it. It's so good. The Safari Body Mask from Abdul Samad Al Qureshi. I love it so much. Okay, a perfume favorite. Uh, I know you guys are going to be expecting it. I know you guys are expecting it, but Love Delight from Amouage. Absolutely obsessed with this fragrance. I, oh my gosh, I love this scent so much. It is such a beautiful, creamy, like powdery, nutty, almondy floral fragrance. You have heliotrope and rum and cacao and ginger. And it's just so beautiful, you guys. The star of the show is really that, that nutty kind of creamy facet that's going on in here a little bit powdery almondy oh my gosh like really it's heavenly to me i think amouage are describing this scent as like a pastry from the middle east and i can definitely see definitely see the correlation and the inspiration but it's not overly gourmand thank god because i am so over brands launching gourmands like i know that it's the current trend so brands want to get onto it but come on guys like somebody changed the direction here like i'm waiting for somebody to launch like baccarat rouge actually like i'm waiting for somebody to come up with a dna that sets the trend and just like changes the industry because right now all the gourmands and everything are driving me nuts so anyways love delight it's not super gourmand it is sweet but it's not too much Another fragrance that I just recently got, but guys, the second that I got it, I became hooked on it, is Musk Nude from Narcisa Rodriguez. This, yes, like, yes, 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 yes. This is exactly, the bottle is describing the scent perfectly. This is a beautiful, kind of marshmallowy, sweet musk fragrance. Like it's creamy, it's delicate, it's powdery. And it has this beautiful like marshmallow 
feminine cotton candy sweetness going on and it is so beautiful you guys the only thing is that the longevity is not incredible so i do recommend over spraying the heck out of this one if you want it to last but the scent is just so perfect like absolutely so 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 perfect i love it so much really really great fragrance and i think i'm just going to talk about maybe one more fragrance that i have been loving i know this is so weird but it's from creed <laughs> and it is royal princess oud I don't know. I don't even know guys the notes in here. Like I don't even know. I'm gonna check on Sniff actually because I don't know the notes, but it's a fresh kind of woody green. It almost has like a bit of a melon touch in here. I don't know, like I, uh, I, I absolutely love the fragrance. Okay, so there is Oud, Bergamot, Jasmine, Rose, Violet. I'm getting a lot of Violet actually. The Violet is quite green, a little bit powdery. You definitely get like a floral vibe. It's quite fresh. The Oud is very clean. It's just beautiful, you guys. Like a very, very sophisticated, uh, very sophisticated like signature worthy fragrance for a woman and I love it so much actually it's really beautiful so I would say that's what I'm going to talk about guys I have so many perfumes just here but I have not I don't have any time to talk about anything else so that is you guys thank you for watching my February favorites let me know if you enjoyed it and if you want me to do it again I can absolutely do another favorites video next month or maybe every second month like I said um, it was really fun to talk about other things than perfume. So let me know if you would like to see that. Thank you guys so much and I will talk to you soon. Bye.